Kim Zolchak is arguing back at her estranged husband, Croy Bierman, stating his latest divorce request is a sham, and she wants to get it tossed, mainly because they're still hooking up, like a lot. According to court documents, the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star says she's been repeatedly sleeping with Croy ever since he filed for divorce from her, for the second time that is, in late summer 2023. So as of September, the pair was still fooling around, and not to mention the fact that Kim and Croy still live under the same roof. The estranged couple shares a gorgeous mansion in El Alpharetta, Georgia, which boasts a nearly 7,000 square foot main house along with epic amenities like a Hollywood room, an elevator, a hair salon, and much more. However, not only is Kim and Croy's marriage seemingly riddled with drama, so is their real estate. This stunning property they call home has been the subject of foreclosure rumors since 2014, but it seems that they've managed to hang on to it. It's unsure if their marriage will be so lucky though, considering Croy has reportedly filed for divorce twice, most recently on August 24th. He claims that Kim's gambling issues have led them to financial demise and he can't handle any more. In March 2023, after some of the foreclosure rumors were still taking place, Kim Zolchik decided to take her Instagram followers on a tour of her mansion in her stories. The Georgia mansion was supposedly set to be auctioned off last in February 2023. But Kim and her estranged husband, Croy Bierman, defaulted on a $1.65 million loan, according to a notice issued by Fulton County. It was also confirmed by a source that the Bravo star took needed actions to clear any of this up, thus keeping their mansion. When Kim took her followers on a tour of her abode, she showed off a games room that looked like a throwback to the 90s, boasting a neon on pink, green, and yellow paint splatter styled carpet. On one wall here, there was a pair of the 1994 car racing arcade game Cruisin' World, which Kim is a self-proclaimed queen of. Elsewhere, there is an air hockey table, foosball table, and multiple other standing arcade games. Next, Kim tours the man cave bathroom where she has wallpaper with silver trees made of glass beads. Her IG tour further showcased the home movie theater and rooms full of clothing and shoes belonging to her and her kids, of course. There was an overflow of shoes, bags, hoodies, and more, hundreds of items hanging up too, many with the price tags still on them. This tour came weeks after the foreclosure was resolved, with Kim insisting that it was all a misunderstanding with the bank. She previously denied reports that their property was in foreclosure with a video posted on her Instagram story in November 2022, stating, okay, you guys, my house has not sold for 257,000. If you guys think I would let my home that we've put millions and millions of dollars into go for $257,000, you're an idiot, okay, for real. In 2012, Kim and Croy purchased their six bedroom mansion for only $880,000 in Alpharetta, Georgia. First built in 2008, the 17,000 square foot estate features a majestic 6,907 square foot main property. Shortly after, the reality TV star moved into what would become her dream home and quickly took to gushing about the Lux residence that featured not only a whole movie theater, but a fully stocked gym, spa, basketball court, and man cave for her now estranged hubby. Situated in the Manor Golf and Country Club right by the 18th hole near a lake, Kim's one-of-a-kind home includes a sprawling kitchen with wooden floors, marble countertops, and a huge stove complemented by some fancy wallpaper. The open plan layout of the home also leads to a gigantic living room with dark furniture, wooden beam ceilings, a wet bar, and lots of wood panels. Meanwhile, another room on the ground floor is used as a study and includes a lavish throne-like armchair that's been placed next to dark wood cabinets, as well as a grand fireplace. And if that isn't grand enough for you, how about the self-portrait of Kim hanging in a place of honor above the fireplace? Elsewhere, Kim's home features a space nicknamed the Candy Cane Room that not only boasts a red and white striped couch, but a glamorous crystal chandelier hanging directly above it. As nice as that room looks, it's maybe not quite as glam as Kim's incredible dining room that not only comes with bling on the chairs and drapes, but some ultra rare Versace china. It's just too bad Kim never gets around to using it. Then in the central foyer of her home, there's a massive staircase that Kim likes to pose next to in a cream colored chair that sits at the bottom of the steps. 
Speaking of steps, if you're not really feeling up to those, you could always hop on the home's elevator. Although Kim apparently only likes to use it for a different kind of ride. All those amazing features and I haven't even touched upon her favorite parts yet. So let's check out those next. During a live tour of her home shortly after buying it, Kim revealed that her entertainment room, AKA the Hollywood room, it's her favorite spot in the entire place. This is my favorite room in the whole house. It's called the Hollywood Room. For the most part, this space acts as Kim's daughter's TV room, where they often hang out with their friends. But it's also the perfect spot for Kim to chill out by herself on either the large wraparound white sofa or those comfy cushions placed in front of the mounted TV. And if she's ever looking for a little peace and quiet, Kim can escape to her backyard, which includes an in-ground pool as well as a relaxed hot tub that she keeps at precisely the right temperature. Last but not least, a few years ago, Kim had a professional grade hair salon installed on the property. And I can't possibly imagine she or anyone else in her clique are ever gonna go anywhere else to get their hair done. As mentioned though, Kim and Croy's finances haven't been doing all that hot lately. For starters, Croy was accused of owing his former NFL agent $22,000 in unpaid fees in October 2020. He even once admitted to losing 250k while gambling in the Bahamas. Then, when the Paris TV show was cancelled, things really hit the fan. Following the cancellation of their show, Don't Be Tardy, reports would surface all around the internet that Kim had been forced to auction off her multi-million dollar home for $257,000, which is the same tale that Kim would ultimately deny. There is a report from page six, which noted that while Kim's house did indeed face foreclosure in 2014, the family settled that debt. After that though, Kim and Croy also took out a $300,000 loan to finish renovating their home. And according to multiple sources, it's now this loan that caused the family foreclosure issues in 2022. Currently, with the latest divorce attempt, it's also said that Croy has filed to put he and his estranged wife's Georgia mansion on the market, hoping to sell quickly. Beerman's lawyer said at the end of August 2023, he is asking that the court order the house to be placed on the market and hopefully sold immediately. If the court orders it, then the court can enforce the order. This taking control out of the hands of the parties, and this is exactly what needs to be done at this point. When Kim and Croy filed for divorce for the first time in May, a source claimed their split was a result of their financial issues. That same month, TMZ reported the couple owed more than $1.1 million in unpaid taxes. The source said the financial burdens have been a strain on their relationship. Between the tax debt and other financial stresses, it's been difficult. The tax debt was the straw that broke the camel's back in their marriage. While it's yet to be seen what's to come of Kim Zolchak and Croy Bierman's marriage and their Georgia mansion for today, that'll wrap up this house tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. Would you be able to live under the same roof as your estranged partner or would you prefer one of you just leaves to live elsewhere? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on Instagram to chat. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.